videos and I can't find a single good write up or video on how to take this this gas tank off. Um, I'm pretty sure it's fairly straightforward and simple. This is gonna be a first for me and this might actually be a first on YouTube too in terms of like gas tank removal on a Kawasaki Vulcan S. Who knows? So yeah let's uh delve into it. First steps first either get in this uh, compartment get the Allen key out of there or if you have a six I think it's a six six millimeter uh, Allen key laying around take off the seat then you use a three mil to take these these out there's four on the on this uh, piece of plastic up two up here and then the other two are on the corresponding sides right here also you're gonna have to remove uh, Use the same that same three mil to take off this plastic on both sides. To take off this plastic on both sides, you pull this part out and you slide the plastic off. And for this plastic piece, you you literally just pull it out. Let's uh get on man. tank in are this right here and I believe these two right here these two right there and they are 10 millimeter both of them, or all all three of them yep all right let's get that done <laughs> You got a bunch of connections like over here and there's some hoses some vacuum lines or hoses over here just be careful um, <laughs> this isn't really the best setup right now obviously uh, you kind of just made a makeshift table and using the handlebars to kind of prop it up I mean there's a there's got to be a better way but I'm just whatever about it right now but yeah so intakes in here there are eight of these Phillip head screws also got a bunch of other stuff on top of it, but I don't think those are uh, required to take off. I think we just need to take these off. So yeah, let's get on that.
quick. Uh, I just removed this too, just in case. Real simple, just hold, push down this tab and it just pops out. Real simple. <laughs> This wiring harness right here goes across this the top right here, being held in, in place by these tabs. I guess one way is to remove all these connections to move the wiring harness out of the way, but I was too stubborn to do that. So I was just kind of moving the wiring harness over these tabs and I kind of broke one. So uh, try not to do that. But hey, this is off. There is the intake. The stock intake actually looks better than I thought it would, to be honest. I didn't know I had this uh, mesh on there. I was expecting some like just plain white paper air filter, but hey, it's actually nicer than I thought. So to remove the air filter, by the way, there's a screw in here that holds it in. Other than that, it's just pretty much just fitted in. The DNA air filter also has a screw uh, that came with it. There it is, the stock one. It is pretty, oh it is kind of, yeah, oh it is a paper one. It just didn't look like a paper one because it was, you know, I'm used to seeing, or from the factory white paper air filters, but I thought it wasn't paper, but it is, it's paper. You can see it's kind of getting dirty. 3,000 miles, you know, so. It pretty much just fits over the top like, like the factory one, and it even has a screw, so. By the way, that's, how the air intake assembly thing looks like in case you're one. All right, it's in, it fits in perfectly. And screw goes in, lines up you know, correctly, straight. It's a perfect fit. I'm pretty excited about it. So time to put her together. 20 minutes later. All right, so for whatever reason, my camera didn't, <laughs> didn't record the uh, final steps of me putting the bike back together and my little outro monologue thing. I was talking to the camera. I, I have no idea why. I think, I don't know. But anyways, I put that, I put the bike back together. I brought it outside, turned it on to make sure everything's running fine. Everything's running fine. I didn't test ride it or anything because I had a or I had to go do some stuff. But yeah, so I'll be try I'll try and ride it uh, pretty much all weekend. I know I'll be riding Sunday because I got a bike event to go to that I'll probably motor vlog too about. Um, I don't know. But anyways, that's the install. <laughs> Sweet, you know. Please like the video if you like, I guess, and please subscribe if you'd like to, uh, you know, see more more of my videos in the future. Go ahead and leave a comment if you like, and share the video if you like, and uh, I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.